Hi everyone, hi, welcome back, happy you are here. I was cleaning out the studio today and I found a couple of old canvases that are just covered with a background and they were probably failed paintings. I wanted to restretch them, but now I'm thinking, well, we're experimenting this summer. Let's just play on this canvas. It's this beautiful purple toned uh, painting with some blue in this. No clue what I created on this, but it's totally covered. So let's start playing with it. Okay, um, so of course this is not wet, it's dry. I feel like wetting it first. So my brush wasn't fully clean. Do you see that? So normally we wouldn't see that really on a on a white base, but now we do see it here. What's happening here? It just leaves this. I don't know, guys. With this one as well, I know for sure I rinsed out this brush. Do you guys see it? What happens, it leaves traces from old paint or something while I was wetting the canvas and that's messing up the background here. Let's just add a color and paint this canvas with this color. This is permanent violet dark. Oh, it does make it a whole lot more vibrant. Go in with another color. More a reddish purple. Well, I think I will cover this canvas fully with this Alizarin Crimson You Really liking that color. All right, so now the painting is dark and moody. <laughs> what to do? Let's create some highlights first. Wow. Ooh, that color does shine. Oh, I'm really, really feeling this gold on top of this color. Wow. Oh, that's surprising. <laughs> Let's add this dark color back. Okay, so I'm really feeling <laughs> these colors together. The gold with the Allison uh, <laughs> crimson reddish color. Wow, this is very chic. So how would white look together with that color? Because we need more contrast in this painting, don't we? So I need to pair this with another color. I'm so feeling this color palette and it has a lot of red shades and tints to it, which I never use. I don't think I really want to create a flower in this one, just, you know, create a beautiful composition and have a harmony of colors and plants. Also, by the way, before I forget, 
I'm running a huge sale on everything, on my originals, on my prints, on my art courses. You can get 20% off with coupon code SUMMER20. Check out rinskedauna.com. So, I'm loving the colors a lot. I think this is very beautiful, but it's not abstract enough, right? It's boring again. <laughs> so I'm very used to using white to create more of an abstract effect. So I guess I'm going to do that here too. Yeah, it does give this light source that we need. Yeah, I'm definitely missing a light source coming from here, so the background feels too dark everywhere i think it's it's enough now for the white i need to think i want to add spray paint or do i still want to add another color you know this is too basic i do think we'll be adding uh, some spray paint later on Let's bring in some more of that gold again. Still, I feel, you know, it's, it's not finished. I need to find a way to level this up. I also have a gold spray paint and a Venetian rose, and that can maybe work out very well here. I think I will be spray painting a little bit there. Yeah, let's start doing that. You know what? I have the gold. Let's do some gold. Okay, I will start with gold spray paint there. Okay, so the cap wasn't fully on. Uh, and now it creates those dots, which are very cool. Well, it's doing something, but I do still feel I need more light. It looks white, doesn't it? But it is the Venetian rose light. I will leave this, leave this to dry and tomorrow I'll check it, see what I think, hang it up and I might do a little bit more 
maybe I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just very surprised at the color palette. It's simple, it has no flowers, it's more botanical. Yeah, I'll be back. Here we go. Here is the final end result. It's quite simple, but very chic and a very different color palette for me. I do love the addition of the spray paint. It looks for me like a fucky evening or something. So I'm quite happy I started to paint over this old canvas. And the background almost looks dark, doesn't it? But I, or black, I mean. But I didn't use any black in this painting. Yep, pretty happy. Would love to know what you think. And a final reminder that we're running a sale with coupon code SUMMER20. You will get 20% off on everything. On my prints, originals, my art courses. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.